What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Break Zone. I'm JT. I'm Laurent. And we're just about to start Swiss Round 4. Talk to me a little bit about what you're seeing, man. Like, what do you like? What do you not like? What is a surprise to you? I don't know. It feels a little chilly nowadays, you know? A lot of ice. Definitely <laughs> a lot of ice. Yeah, we uh, are seeing a lot of ice around I here. I think ice has won every single match so far that we've yeah, seen. Yeah, that we've seen table. in, in, in our, our future table. It's really interesting because, you know, ice, we haven't seen a lot of it. Not lately. Not lately. So yeah. it's, it's really good to see ice being it. And, and the Opus 4 cards are really, really pretty awesome. Yeah. I mean, I really like what we're seeing in ice. So let's see if that continues as our next match also has ice in it. But it's going against something we haven't seen yet. So we're going to go ahead and jump into Swiss Round 4. So we'll see you there in the match. All right. And here we got Nathan versus Stan. And let's see what's going to happen here. We've got the modifier versus some ice lightning. So let's take a look at how they want to start things off. So it looks like Nathan starts. He's deciding what he wants to do. Oh, looks like he's going to go ahead and keep that hand here. And, uh, yeah. I don't know, with modifier, I think uh, I'm going to play a fire card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see if uh, if, if we're actually going to see um, what type of modifier uh, Nathan is running. Wow, he's going to start right away. Look at that with a Godot into a Red X. Just straight aggression. All right. That's amazing. That's a good play. Let's I, and Ice Lightning isn't particularly fast. So let's see if he can if he can counter this with a Alcid combo. That would be amazing. Um, it's just a lot of over aggressive right off the bat plays. It looks like he's got a play uh, ready to go. Um, let's see what he does here. He's going to match aggression with aggression. He's going to play into the devout. He's Not quite play, the same kind nope, of aggression. He's going to play into the devout <laughs> and into the red mage. Looks like he's going to take two points of damage here. He's going to have to. I definitely think so. Right, right. So let's take a look at how that combo actually came about. Um, with the, the Godot. I, it's a it's card. A, it's a classic combo. It right? is a classic combo. We, we haven't seen this card in, in quite some time. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's, a, it's an older Opus 1 card. Um, you know, and we, we used to see it a lot when uh, Opus 1 first came out. But it's, it's easily one of, the, one of the cards that gets overlooked. Um, you know, as opuses go on, and this is just a quick way, you know, to get to get two two character two forwards on the board right away. They're not very strong. Um, he's gonna get two free points of damage here, uh, but it looks like you know Stan is, is is doled out. He only has two cards in his hands, so the only thing that he can do is play something for two, and I don't think that's gonna stop a, an attack. So. Well, he's going to play right oh, into a wow. Tifa he's Haste. Take three damage he's going to take three there. points of damage. He's going to flip over a snow. snow. He's going to flip over uh, what looks like to be oh, the, Opus 4 the Opus 4 backup that doles. Um, and a lightning. Holy a moly. Lightning. That, that is, is that is some quick damage right there. This is going to be tough. Yeah, it's going to be hard for him to get past this. Um, hopefully, if he can do a you know an Alston combo right now, he could stave off the damage and be able to block. Um, again, Exodus for two would be cool. Nathan, <laughs> Nathan's board isn't particularly uh, strong. Uh, correct. I mean, they're all sitting at uh, 2 CP. Uh, I believe most of them are 4K or 5K. And so 5,000 damage overall would be great. He doesn't quite have that. Uh, the Genesis coming in and freezing. He's going to okay. freeze the red X. Freeze the red X. X. He's going to be able to block with that at least. Right. And I'll right. hold off a little bit of the... Save off some of the bleeding. He's he's definitely cutting cutting that flow. Well, the Genesis can block everything else now. He can right, actually trade. He, too far, right. Do so. you want to trade though? Right. And yeah, our like I mean, our streamers it, yeah. have, have said, um, even if he had an else said he wouldn't be able to use it. Everything right. was dull because it was swinging in for attack. So that's correct. Right now, I mean, not a lot of answers for uh, for Stan over here. He he really needs to to get in and s try to dig in a oh. little bit. Wow, and with the cloud dealing 7,000 damage, that's Dude, Tifa wow. or Red. That Genesis is, is out. Is that Genesis is out, and it's going to be another, another two, three points of two damage. Points, two, points. Or two points of damage right here. Flipping over oh, the Valera. Ooh. Into a vein. That wow, hurts. that brings... Oh, that this fire is, aggro is that really pretty fire work. aggro is putting in a lot of damage right here. Stan is already at five points of damage. He only has two backups left. And he what? lost his Alera. And he lost his Alera, which oh, would have goodness. helped him wipe almost the entire board here. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, he really needed that Zalera. Yeah, I know. Let's see if he has something else that he can do. <laughs> this is this is gonna. This might be a quick game here. It just might be. Might be a quick game. But at least he has two backups. He has a lot. He has some options to go with that. He does. Um, he does have Nathan, some on the other hand, if Stan is able to stabilize, Nathan is going to come Nathan back with no backups. Nathan was really only backups. worried about any type of board wipe, and I believe the only board wipe you can run in Ice Lightning is a Exodus. Is Exodus, but and a Zalera, and correct, he got rid of correct. the. He got rid of the Zalera. Right. Got rid oh. of the Zalera. So that that one, that one is yeah. a little bit brutal. Take a look at that cloud, everybody. Pre-release cloud. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> He's going to go ahead and crack his Devout into a Genesis. He's going to dole and freeze the cloud right there. Um, hopefully, just to stave off some type of damage. He's looking at Fatal on the board as it stands. Um, if, if Nathan has any type of burn at all, he can just swing in and, and win right now. Um, looks like he's oh, going to push it for VV. Ah, the Dealing backup VV is going to deal some damage to that. Hopefully, it, it it looks like it's lethal. It looks like it's lethal on the board. He's going to have to. Yes, yeah, so going to have to. Block. He's going to have to block at least one of them. Yes. Uh, Hope for EX burst. Nothing there on the EX burst. He's going to oh, go ahead and, and the Shiva, Shiva comes there in. Go. That wow, actually saves that him, saves one, him one, turn. one turn. That saves him. That buys him yeah. one turn. But now that Genesis is not going to be so useful, if Genesis uses the blocker, he does not get all that, uh, that, all that advantage that he has from attacking and making right, this card. Right, and really what really yeah. hurt was that, that Zalera. He needed that Zalera. Um, yeah, right now he, he is looking at Fatal <laughs> from every turn for the next three or four turns. Man, that Zalera would wipe the whole board right now. Exactly, the entire board. Oh. That Zalera would have been so clutch. You know, and 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 and, it, and it's a question I'd like to ask you, Laurent. How many Zalera's do you run? I personally run three in my deck, but I also run three Renoas and you know two Devouts. I would say maybe two. Right. And the other issue because if you're running against somebody that plays like four drops or a guy, right, uh, it's not going to help you very much. Uh, another thing that you could keep in mind is that if you play Zalera, you're playing Ice. You can play uh, the Light Terra, which will fetch uh, fetch right. it if you need right. to. Exactly. I don't know what you can do because that 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 turn came out so fast. Oh, he got he, into a Godot, into a I red, mean, and then at the first next I thought, like you know what, the Godot into red, that's all right. You know, you, that's kind of cute, but yeah, uh, they didn't get to attack first turn, so just kind of set up the board for later. But then when he dropped that Tifa and just swung the next turn, three. like it's okay to take two, but once you start going to three or four damage, you really you look at your really, your life resource and oh, right, I can't really you, afford to give really it that up anymore. Right now. And yeah, I mean we have Stan here. Uh, is that a stable? Did he stabilize? No, I don't think he stabilized. I, I don't know. I mean, you've got an Emperor and you've got a Genesis. You'll be able to block a couple guys there. You can. You can. Oh, except for that one dealing 2,000 to everything when it attacks. Right. Oh, that. Oh. No, no cards. Oh, he's Genesis. Gonna have, he's going to have to block that. Okay. So Genesis 6, is... 6,000 damage on Genesis. Right. Um, Attack. Do it again. Oh, Emperor. It's... I think it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of mathematics right now. Yeah. He's going to have to block. Genesis is going to go down. He's going to swing with Godot. And Emperor's no. going to go down. And Cloud's going to finish off the game. And, and that's the match. Uh, wow. Yeah. And just like that. I mean, that was such a quick match. And, you know, it's something Sometimes that, Fire just comes in and does it. Right. And, and that's one of those things that we haven't actually seen. Uh, is with, with this event... <laughs> We actually haven't seen Mono Fire. Correct. We've seen Mono Ice. We've seen Ice Everything. <laughs> ice Earth, Ice Lightning. Uh, we haven't seen a, a Mono Fire deck. And, and just like that, Mono Fire is able to just pump things out. And it's not necessarily Opus 4. Correct. It's not, right? Correct. The only thing was Opus 4 there was Cloud, was cloud right? Everything just... just actually, no, the, the, the Ranger as well, I believe. Oh, right, the Ranger as well. Yeah. Um, but... And and if and if you take a look at you know what Opus Four did for that deck, it basically just made what it's doing already a little bit better. Yes. You know, and I like that. This is classic fire aggro. And, and truth that be told, was... you needed to have a very good draw hand. 
to play that. Well, also, I mean, he played one backup the whole time, right? Right. So that BB. I think he might have tweaked his deck to make it heavy on forwards in order to pull sure. that off quite quite often. But oh, pulling like a doe into into a red X into uh, and then having having Tifa the, the coming, Tifa with coming the in with the haste all before your opponent has even dropped his second backup oh no he dropped two backups oh, first two backups right all it's like ah it's, even, it's only two yeah, it's only two and then it's three yeah, yeah. And it, just that extra point is like uh oh it did it's, it's uh oh time right and, and, and yeah. it's really difficult to yeah it's, it's that was a rough match I mean on, on I mean side. if it's I was sitting on the other hand I would be having issues too right. that Zalera would have been so <coughs> clutch that though. Zalera was oh, so clutch was getting that Zalera off the top um, when you're yeah. playing that deck, you know when when I when I play against like Golbez, having that Zalera in my hand is it's a saving grace. It's a saving grace. Like you know these guys are going to be twos and threes. Yeah. They all get broken. Yeah. You know you know if they run low like that, you know with like same thing with like um, standard units. Yes. You know anything that goes wide runs twos and threes. A lot of them. And Zalera just puts that to bed, right? Yes. But the thing is, you need a way to, to dole. And I think even if he had that Zalera. He would have taken six damage before he came out. Oh, yeah. No, three damage. Before no, he came because out. Uh, as the second or the third guy attacks before the damage is dealt, you can just pop it because it's already dull from attacking. Sure, sure, and sure. sure. You can save yourself one point of damage and then the rest of them. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So, and I, I think um, at the point where he could have done it, where the Zeller was flip off the top, he was staring at three forwards. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, so he could have taken, he could have handled it. What What hurt the most was when that cloud came out and it's a three drop. You're just like. Zalera oh, just the, feels even worse. The cloud against the Genesis just was key exact, play. Yes, yeah, it, key it worked play. out perfectly. Yeah. Taking out the Genesis as a blocker, putting a four into play, right. and having another uh, three guys swing, trying to swing in, that was... It's yeah. huge. It's, this is amazing. And it's just such a fast, fast, fast round, right? And we haven't seen that today. You know, no, I mean, what, what do you think? How do you think a, a deck like that would match up against some of the decks we've seen already? That's tough to say. I mean, we, I, I didn't really memorize everybody's deck list, so right. I, I wouldn't re remember off the top. But, I mean, Ice plays Zalera. And right, right, right. if he ran to Zalera, Zalera when he swung in, then that would have been like, hey, look, you yeah. popped out all those guys, you get rid of them, where's your backups? You didn't play any. Let's see what happens now. You know? Exactly. As we've exactly. seen all day, uh, sometimes people play the aggressive game, the other person stabilizes, and mm -hmm. they can actually come over the top. Uh, I mean, sometimes people top deck, and sometimes the deck just runs perfectly. Uh, in this case, this deck that was, was I feel like that was a flawless. That was a flawless play. draw. You have to have a fantastic draw, and your opponent has to have an equally slow as you are fast draw for that to actually work. Because yes. really, all all um, Nathan, uh, I mean Stan, should have could have done was. Drop like an emperor first turn, or drop something big enough to block everything first turn. Yeah, anything that was just a big body would have stopped it would, that. Would have slowed it down. Would have slowed it down, right. giving you enough time to rebuild. Yeah. Right? I don't know if it was a good play for him to drop so many cards just to play two backups when he's already looking at two fours in the, in the board. Well, I mean, it, it was. I don't think he expected the Tifa to come out with it the next turn. Right. Uh, also, but he the fact that a lot of good cards. Also, the fact backups. that. Uh, the Genesis happens to be just a 7k, not an 8k. Yes. Uh, that One was of the a big problems that well. I find with Genesis is that he's not on the curve. Correct. For a 7k, I expect to pay 3. But his abilities are so strong his that you can't... Are really good. That, yeah, you can't warn him being... Yeah. You know? But then again, we were just talking about Saber. And that guy is a 4-drop 8k with abilities that are insane. Correct. You know, So it really puts into perspective the power difference between... The elements, yes. you know, uh, and, and what you're dealing with when you play when you play ice. Right? One thing to keep in mind, though, is that sometimes you don't need big guys to win. Sometimes you don't need, you know, that many legendaries right, to win. Right. In this case, legendary cloud did the trick, and everything was seven k and under. Right. You mean heroic, drop. heroic cloud? Right? Heroic cloud was it? Heroic? I think he's a heroic. Okay, heroic. Cloud. Um, yeah. But yeah, and and sometimes sometimes being low into the ground gets you where you need to go. In terms of playing this game, you don't need to be a big beetle if you just be quick. Yeah. You know, it forces your opponent to have to play quick as well. And when, when you're playing Ice Lightning, you don't necessarily want to play fast in the beginning. You wanna you wanna stabilize as much as you can, and then play the key tempo cards that are equally fast. You can't just keep matching speed, right? With Lightning, 
your speed comes from al Sid, you know, and you want to play those at a key time, Correct. not just throwing them out on the board, you know. So forcing you know Stan to play at a tempo that he wasn't used to playing, and having him pitch all these cards, I think was really the key here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, sometimes also another thing you have to realize is that. If somebody's able to play those small, quick guys, get a couple damage in, yeah. and have cards that allow them to just barely sneak in just a little bit more, it gets there. In this case, uh, the the cloud was able to remove a key blocker, and the ranger was able to <coughs> the ranger to, trade, to make trade offs. Right. I mean, if somehow Stan was able to um, stabilize mm -hmm. when. Uh, when Nathan was coming in with those guys after the after the uh, after the Ranger did the two initial damage, uh, he would have been in big trouble. I mean, he was yeah. trading away a lot of cards. He he invested right. everything everything that turn and it paid off. And that's things that you see that also happened at that is that uh, Mumbo the Chocobo came out and just with small guys could just do enough right, could right, get right, in. Right. And in this in this case, that heavy aggro with very few backups in the back just worked, worked out. It worked out, but. Imagine if Stan had gotten that Solera. Nathan would have nothing on the board. Correct. And no cards in his hand. I it's mean, a huge gamble to play this type of aggression. Especially in a game where you have to pitch cards for resources. Correct. It's a very big gamble. I mean, there's there's a lot of things that could could have gone wrong playing the different decks. Right, I mean, right. we're talking about, like, blockers and min Wu. We're talking about right, Dark right, Cecil. Right. Or even just Ash. Just Ash. Yeah, Like, exactly. go ahead, target me. Like, exactly. Okay, I'll get bigger. So we hope you guys enjoyed that match. We're going to go ahead and take a, a small intermission in between the next round. Um, once again, thank you for joining us here at the Break Zone. My name is JT. And I'm Lawrence. And we're just so happy you guys are joining us while we give you live uh, coverage of the PT Cup here in Los Angeles, California. Um, again, stick around. We'll have round five coming for you in just a bit. Thank you.